Next tonight, one-time top advisor to former President Trump now says he will cooperate with the January 6th committee. Steve Bannon, who left the White House back in 2017 but remained close to Trump, now says that he's willing to testify. And tonight we're learning more about the appearance of former White House counsel Pat Cipollone and what he said under oath. ABC's Kenneth Moten is in Washington. Tonight, Steve Bannon reversing course. The former Trump White House strategist now saying he's willing to testify before the January 6th committee. Bannon for months in a legal battle, facing trial for criminal contempt charges after defying a congressional subpoena. The committee has said there's evidence that Bannon had specific knowledge about January 6th before the attack on the Capitol, pointing to his own words on his podcast the day before. All hell is going to break loose tomorrow. Former President Trump and Bannon at first claiming executive privilege, even though Bannon was a private citizen that day, having left the administration in 2017. In a letter obtained by ABC News, Bannon's attorney writing, while Mr. Bannon has been steadfast in his convictions, circumstances have now changed. Those circumstances, Trump informing Bannon that he's waiving his objections because I watched how unfairly you and others have been treated. The committee, of course, has not yet had a chance to discuss it, but I expect that we will be hearing from him and there are many questions that we have for him. Bannon's reversal comes a day after former Trump White House counsel Pat Cipollone testified behind closed doors for roughly eight hours. In a recorded interview, the committee asked Cipollone detailed questions about pardons, false election fraud claims, and the pressure Trump placed on Vice President Mike Pence to overturn the election. You'll see over the next couple hearings uh, a little of what he said. Certainly you'll see a lot of that in the report, um, but at no point was there any contradiction of, of what anybody said. Significant to hear that there were no contradictions. Kenneth Moulton joins us now live from Capitol Hill. Cipollone's recorded testimony is expected to take center stage at the final public hearings this week, but Kenneth, Steve Bannon wants to testify live. That's right, Lindsay. Steve Bannon's attorney says he prefers to testify at the public hearing, not behind closed doors. But one committee member is saying they want all their questions answered, which can't be done in a live format. Bannon's apparent cooperation comes ahead of a hearing in his criminal contempt case tomorrow. Lindsay. Lots of interest in what Bannon has to say under oath there. Kenneth, our thanks to you, David, and the entire ABC News team will be here for live coverage and analysis of the January 6th committee's public hearing on Tuesday. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.